figured I'd jump in real quick and talk about changes on eBay when selling high dollar tennis shoes. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Richard. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay where I buy things from thrift stores, garage sales, and I take those undervalued items and I sell them on eBay for a profit. Today, I'm gonna to go over the weekend sales. I'm gonna let you know where I sourced the item from, what I paid for the item, and what the item sold for. Also, I have a topic to talk about, and that's selling shoes on eBay, especially high dollar shoes. So before we get into that, let's jump into the eBay store and see what's sold. Back here in the eBay store, we actually have eight items going out today. And right now I'm taking a break from my regular job. I'm taking lunch, so I figured I'd come down and pull items. So let's get started. First thing going out, didn't have a chance to put that into inventory yet. It's, I lauded two vintage 1990 and 1999 holiday special barbies i'm kind of holding one up and as you can see the oops, sorry. this is one of them here the package is kind of really roughed up and the other one this one's even worse so I decided to lot these two together. I'm into each of them for $4, my local thrift store. So total cost of goods is $8. These two sold for $45.86 and the buyer is paying $16.95 in shipping. But these are going through the global shipping program. So it's actually costing the buyer a lot more. Next thing going out, also not into inventory yet. It's this Pampered Chef Pie Crust Shield. Now, Pampered Chef, most of the time when I find it at my local thrift store, I go ahead and pick it up as long as it's cheap enough. I'm into this for a dollar, but it is brand new. This sold for $10.16, and the buyer is paying $5.70 in shipping. Next thing, which is good because um, we're moving out of the stuff that's not even in inventory yet. I've got it listed, but not into inventory. It's another set of these 4K movies. I'm into each of these for 80 cents. So this right here, cost of goods is $1.60. These two sold for $16.11 and the buyer is paying $3.92 in shipping. We have another item that's not in um, inventory yet. I actually sold one of these last week, and this is I bought these at the same time at my local thrift store. This one is the Eco Touch Eco 55W slash B tankless electric hot water heater. This right here into this for four dollars this sold for 4501 and the buyer is paying 1405 in shipping okay it looks like we're moving this time sold a vintage minska ivory china m2002 soup bowl and that's uh, that was like one of the first things I picked up when I first started uh, going to thrift stores. And I believe it's right down here. Nine inch soup bowl. We have had we have made our money back on this set. When I first did these, I listed them individual. And not in sets of four, but I was into the entire set for $22. Get the dust off. This sold for $7.65, and the buyer is paying $7.85 in shipping. 
Next thing is we sold a DVD. This is going to be in G2. And it should be over here. G3. Did I miss it? Oh, right here. Find it, just a single DVD. Not supposed to be in here. Oh, I bet you this is it right here. Let me see, did I put. I actually, I actually put DVD in the listing. That's probably why this took so long. Into this for 50 cents from my local thrift store. It's the Nicolas Cage Knowing movie. It is brand new sealed. This sold for $8.46 and the buyer is paying $3.92 in shipping. Okay, next item going out. Don't have a custom SKU, so that is probably over here. It's the Pass the Pig Party Game. And... Okay. Oh, here it is right here. Paid 50 cents for this at my local thrift store. This sold for $9.31 and the buyer is paying $5.70 in shipping. And the last item we have going out today, it's a lot of Corningware French White 20 ounce stoneware soup cups with the lids. I'm into these for 50 cents from my local thrift store. They're going to be on I2, shelf 12. I was like, I2, that didn't make any sense. So it's these four right down here. So again, paid 50 cents each for these. So cost of goods is $1.50. These three sold for $22.21, and the buyer is paying $11.40 in shipping. Figured I'd jump in real quick and talk about changes on eBay when selling high dollar tennis shoes. Now, eBay has what they call eBay Authentication Guarantee, and there's several categories that fall within there. There's watches, sneakers, streetwear, handbags, jewelry and also trading cards but i'm going to talk about sneakers because this is the first time i've had one that went under the authentication program now with sneakers are certain brands those are the higher end brands nike adidas things like that but it looks like anything over a hundred dollar sale will automatically fall under the ebay authentication program Nothing you need to do, eBay will automatically determine if it falls under the authentication program. When the item sells, you'll be shipping it to eBay. They will guarantee the product for the buyer. And if they deem it fake, they'll send it back to you and you won't be able to relist them. If they find that they are legit, then they'll go ahead and ship them on to the buyer. So what sparked this was I received a message from eBay which there's now changes when selling sneakers on eBay and I'll go ahead and read it but I'll go ahead and pop it up on the screen here it says eBay understanding the new requirements for building new listings this doesn't affect if you already have shoes listed on eBay it's anything new going forward and so I'll jump down starting October 2023 
you'll be required to add at least five photos when creating new sneaker listings. Now, some of the things that don't fall under that, selling using the third-party platforms won't be impacted by this change. Any new with box listing that matches the item in our product library are excluded from this change only one required photo to list so if you have a brand new pair of shoes that are in the box let's say the box is sealed obviously you don't want to open it up keep it sealed brand new that right there would only require one photo but when I sell shoes, I've always taken multiple photos from the front, from the sides, the inside, the tag, the bottom. I'll go run through right here all the photos that I did when listing these here. Not sure why people would be selling shoes and not taking full advantage before eBay only gave you 12 photos. Now you have up to 24 photos and also one of those 24 can be a video. So I thought that was a little bit interesting and I figured I'd share that with you. Let's jump back into the sales. We got four orders going out, so let's get started. First thing we have going out is a six slot wooden knife block holder, solid oak wood, excellent condition. I did put empty in the title. So that's gonna be on shelf 12. It's gonna be right over here. this one right here it's not branded but as you can see it's in really good condition it almost looks brand new but I did disclose it as used into this for a dollar this sold for $11.53 and the buyer is paying $9.95 in shipping next item going out it's a lot of six Brita picture replacement filters, factory sealed. They are in bin W2, which is right down here. Let's see these ones right here. Let's see if I can get them without dropping them. Pick these up at my local thrift store. I picked up all of them for $2. These sold for $17.76 and the buyer is paying $10.25 in shipping. Last two items going out. Just got these listed, I believe, either over the weekend or late last week. They are both thrift store items. First one is the Night Before Christmas recordable Add Your Own Voice. It is a hallmark. It's right down here. Let's see, get all this off. It is brand new, but I did list it down because this was tore. Into this for 50 cents. This sold for $21.32, and the buyer is paying $4.67 in shipping. Last item going out is a cross crunch abdominal abs exercise as seen on TV. Now when I got home and opened this up, it, it is brand new. It's sealed in there. So I did disclose basically open box into this for a dollar. This sold for $26.66 and the buyer is paying $11.80 in shipping. Getting today, we got five orders going out, so let's get started. First thing we have going out is an AT&T CL82201 replacement wireless phone headset with base. It's going to be in bin U. It's going to be right down here. I 
This bin's getting a little empty. Uh, rut room. No cheating! Okay, dog. Start talking. I ain't rocking. I said with base. Ah, okay, this is it. I said with battery, not base. Bought a set of three phones off of high bid for two dollars. I pieced them all apart. This is the last of it selling. This sold for $9.53 and the buyer is paying $6.40 in shipping. Next item going out, it's a pretty decent item. Pick this up at my local thrift store. It's a Barbie August Peridot Barbie Doll Mattel 2002. It's the from the birthstone collection. I did put new. It was brand new in the box, but the box is pretty beat up, so I listed it down. It's number B3416, and this is in bin F3. That's going to be over here. Yep, right over here. So pick this up at my local thrift store. I'm into it for three dollars. This sold for $34.76 and the buyer is paying $10.25 in shipping. So I'm gonna get that pushed back in. That damage in the box more than it is. Next item we have going out, another thrift store item. This is a Switchmate Toggle Slim Smart Light Switch. One second install. Was brand new in the box. I did pay up for this. I paid $4 at my local thrift store. And it's not even in inventory yet, so we're going to go right over here. There it is right here. So again, paid $4 for this from my local thrift store. This sold for $34.76 and the buyer is paying $6.40 in shipping. Moving on to the next item. This is going to be in bin N. It's going to be all the way back over here. Right up here. It's a... Nike Court Borlo 2 inch white University red black kids. Let's see if I can get this thing off. There we go. That was kind of hung up. Let's see if we can get this without pulling it down. We're looking for a pair of small Nikes. And I see him right back there. Let's see if I reach him. Ah. Oh. These right here. Pick these up at a garage sale. I believe last year at the city wide. I'm into these for a dollar fifty. These sold for seventeen thirty six. And the buyer is paying $8.15 in shipping. And the last item we have going out is another Bible. This is the Holy Bible, a reference edition, King James, American Bible Society. Put HC, and it is from 1977. So I could have put vintage in the title, but I didn't. This is in bin, this is shelf of nine. So that's going to be over here. Okay, I believe it's not this one. I believe it's this one right here.
Okay, this is copyright. Last copyright was 1971. That's the only Bible I have up there other than the Living Bible. Okay. Let me pull up the photos just to make sure that this is it. That is not it. Okay, good thing we checked. It says shelf nine. Um, wait a minute, is this it right here? Ah, ah this is it right here. I can tell by the photos. Good thing I checked. I could tell by the front of it. Paid a dollar for this at my local thrift store. This sold for 1866 and the buyer is paying 542 in shipping. So I do these what sold videos to give you an idea of some of the things that currently are selling on eBay. So when you're out there sourcing for items, it gives you an idea of some of the things that are currently selling. So if you made it this far into the video, thank you very much. Really helps the channel. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Also too, if you're not currently subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification. You'll be notified the next time I do a video. Until next time, keep picking. Also have a topic. Also have a talk.